CrossFit is something that takes everything you have physically and mentally. That's why being able to do something so physically and mentally challenging a few short years after having a brain tumor still amazes me. Six weeks before graduation, my leg wouldn't stop shaking. I ended up going to the school doctor who didn't have a good gut feeling about what was going on and sent me for a brain scan. One hour later, the image center called me and told me they found something on my scan and they requested that I go and see my primary care doctor. And she said I need to prepare myself that this could be cancer and this might be it. And all I can remember screaming is, oh my God, I don't want to die. I'm 24, I have my entire life ahead of me. I, I don't want to die. As I was sitting in my primary care doctor's office, she told me she had met Dr. Bursick from UPMC previously and she was going to call him and get me an appointment. Um, she talked to him on the phone, told him about the scan and the notes that she had read and he agreed to see me at 8 a.m. as soon as he opened the next day. Lauren was a bright, healthy, energetic young woman in overall excellent medical condition and shape. Unfortunately, she had a fairly large, about a four by five centimeter tumor, pressing on the right back part of her brain and brainstem. He's very frank, um, came in and he said, listen, it's not cancer. You're not going to die, but that thing has to come out right now. Because it, had, it was so large, um, it was pressing on the rest of my brain. Fortunately, it is a relatively benign type of tumor but it does not respond to radiation treatments or chemotherapy treatments. The only real option for Lauren is to take the tumor out and get all of the tumor out. I knew I was going to be okay because I felt like I was in the best hands I possibly could have been in with Dr. Versick. Um, now I feel great, you know, I'm active, I'm healthy, and I'm lucky, I'm really lucky to be here. And I CrossFit five days a week, um, I love it. I love being active and pushing myself and seeing how strong I've been able to get over the past two and a half years. Uh, looking back, I, I just didn't know what was going to happen. I, I didn't know if I was going to be okay. And seeing where I am now, it just makes me feel really proud.